3-1. to one. Yeah, Heats of the Melbourne Cup coming up at uh, Sandown Park last Thursday night. The semi-finals this Thursday night and what a great night of entertainment it's going to be. And you'll see the final this Thursday week here on 7 Sport. First of all, back to Olympic Park on Monday night in the first leg of the double. The favourite Supermax from Box 6 was at odds on. Here's Ron Hawkswell. Racing Supermax slow to begin and collided with the Legion after the start. National Star began brilliantly was the leader at the post from Bolander. Going through on the inside of Sonny Kendari and Supermax a clear last going to the back straight. It's National Star about five or six in front. Son of Kendari second followed by Selene Lass. Then Fergie Skiff followed by Sandra the Legend. Supermax is second last and couldn't win. And Bolander last of all but National Star has it all parceled up about eight lengths in front of Selene Lass. And National Star is a brilliant winner about eight lengths to Selene Yalas, three or four lengths away, third son of Kendar. Right in the second the leg, the favourite Sheila's Teresa from box seven. Race to the front on settling down from Weiru, followed by Miss Sing Lee. Getting shuffled back as Riviera Sun on the inside, and Little Pyramid goes to third, but Sheila's Teresa leading three lengths to Weiru down the straight, about eight or ten lengths away. Riviera Sun, Little Pyramid, followed by National Corn. Club Stroller second last and four lengths to Miss Sing Lee. Into the back straight they run, and Sheila's Teresa does it well. About five or six in front of Weiru, about eight lengths away, then Riviera Sun, Club Stroller. Strollers making good ground, followed by Little Pyramid, National Court and Miss Sing Lee. Off the back and Sheila's Teresa leading six or eight to Wee Rua Club Stroller to the outside from Riviera's son. But Sheila's Teresa has it shot to pieces. Sheila's Teresa wins by five to Club Stroller. Riviera's son ran third and Miss Sing Lee was fourth. And the Olympic Park double on two and seven paid $3.35. To Sandown Park, the heats of the Melbourne Cup on Thursday night. And in the first leg race two, the popular pick dedication from the pink. Racing dedication on the outside began OK oh, up well, fast in the centre. Winston Lassen going through Currency Lass as the leader from Winston Lassen. Then Highline dedication turns well, side on on the first turn, turn, goes back to third last. The leader Currency Lass about three lengths to Highline. Two lengths away, National Puppy getting to the outside and running on from dedication, followed by Winston Lass. Then Miss McCarter, sheer joy as they travel off the back straight on the leader. Well clear Currency Lass leading six lengths now to National Puppy Highline. Dedication followed by Winston Lass, but Currency Lass. Wins by six lengths. Second placing National Puppy, close for third, Winston Lass. One of the Melbourne Cup favourites, African Zulu, the favourite, box five. Last settling down, away smartly there was Blue Dundee going fast, Ricky Revel the inside. African Zulu last on the first turn as they stride to the back straight and Royal Classic goes around the outside to take the lead from Tricky Revel about five lengths away then Blue Dundee followed by Baz Marg's image, Sarah Sanction. African Zulu well back and badly in need of a run followed by New Mortal and Sealers Cove. African Zulu in all sorts of trouble coming off the back and Tricky Rebel tackled by Royal Classic but Tricky Rebel sneaked away. Tricky Rebel goes on to win by about four or five. Raw Classic second and Sarah Sanction third. And the Sandown double for the combination two and one $16.75 to Geelong on Friday night in the first leg of the double the favourite Stony Picks from the red. Sing, Stony Picks missed it by a length and Lancer one of the first to go driving through Elsa Land and Bodine there for they'd buy Stony Picks up close enough. Outside it was Wild Hope on the first turn and well back to Black Extra. Tailed off was Mossy Moss and even further back was Swanky Light. Bodine gets away before the bend Lancer on the outside and Stony Picks in the clear is coming quickly. The leader Bodine, Stony Picks 10 wide starting to round him up. Bodine in front. Stony Picks out wide has grabbed him in a stride and Stony Picks a big run. Drew away one at a length and a half from Bodine and Lancer was third. Racing Innocent Man, the favourite in the well, second leg from box five out to last. Check shortly after the start and the leader is Nam Nan by two and a half lengths to Merry Wings and then Torbo Tiberius. Out wide on the track is Fantastic Go from Swanky Toff. Well back as they run to the back was Zippy Luck and last is Innocent Man, 15 off the lead. Nam Nan at the 300 metre mark has been joined by Merry Wings and Torbo going home strongly. Then Tiberius followed by Swanky Toff and Innocent Man getting going. Zippy Luck is well back in the field and Fantastic Go is last. Merry Wings the leader before the turn three in front of Torbo. Innocent Man getting a splitter, still five off the lead from Swanky Toff around the turn. Merry Wings in front. Torbo trying to run it down. An innocent man getting up on the fence. Merry Wings in front, and Merry Wings has won the money. Merry Wings a length and a half from Torbo. Innocent Man got a mile out of his ground and ran on well for third from Swanky Toff. Fantastic. Rob Tester, your commentator at Geelong, and the numbers for the double one and two, a dividend of $6.80 to Cranbourne now last night, and in the first leg race two, the popular pick Rocky James from the White.
Racing. Rocky James a bit slow to begin away. Fast was Idle Early. Rocky James trying to drive through in the centre in the run of the first turn. And Czech Savili there was Warm Boss. Rocky James out to third last. Into the back straight and Galoa Duo goes through on the centre to take the lead from Golden Days. Gwenda's King on the outside. Rocky James going through on the fence and he was checked there slightly. He's held up for a run followed by Das as a flyer. Well back in the field. Warm Boss Pit can ribble around the turn. Galoa Duo shot away. Dash's flyer running on. But Galoa Duo one by three links dash is a flyer pit can rebel got through on the center to run third from golden both Racing sagittarius both the popular pick from box outside. seven began reasonably away fast was blue midnight both sagittarius chasing through on the center racing towards the lead and then king of eaton as they swing out of the straight both sagittarius on the outside of blue midnight and king of eaton starting to stride around the outside followed by secretrice as both sagittarius hit the lead and then sheer joy followed further back by all regis super ribbon and back of the tail relentless but both sagittarius clear by two on the turn blue midnight trying hard and down the outside as sheer joy both Sagittarius just in front and one a half length second is Blue Midnight close for third between King of Eaton and also Sheer Joy. And the combination you needed at Cranbourne last night for two and seven a dividend of five dollars and twenty cents. And of course keep in mind the semi-finals of the 1984 Melbourne Cup for Greyhounds at Sandown Park this Thursday night with the final on Thursday week. Now unfortunately uh, due to circumstances beyond our control we can't bring you any of the harness racing from Mooney Valley last night. It's a bit of a technical problem, we have no control over it and we do apologise but uh, we'll take a look at the...